Good morning, everyone. I'm going to prop you guys up so you can see me better. Hopefully. All right. Good morning, everyone. We are Thursday, and now uh, we're about to work out. <laughs> Today our workout is going to be a little bit more um, smooth, a little bit more on the recovery side, but if you guys want to push like really hard, um, feel free to do so. But I want it to be more, uh, a little bit more of a regenerative uh, workout today than a full on uh, high intensity super blast. So you should be feeling much better after this workout. Then before, hopefully, I'm going to put you guys at a better angle here. There we go. Much better. So with no further ado, we're going to start our little warm-up, and we're going to start by opening our hips. I'm going to bring you down here just a bit. So here we're going to sit down on the floor. We're going to bring our knee on one side and twist our torso. And then we're going to bring your knee on the other side and twist. And the goal is to do this while keeping your butt on the floor. I think my hip is just cracking. Let's go one more each side. One. And one. Next thing. Okay, next thing we are going to do, we're going to do the same thing. So both legs start on the same side. We're going to go on the other side, but now we're going to bring one leg up and just lean forward a bit. You should really feel this in all your hips here um, into your glute. So here we're leaning forward. We're going to bring your knee back in the original position. Go left and then bring your knee above and lean forward. Back in the original position, left, up, and lean. Original position, turn, feet, and lean. Now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go back in our original position, and now we're going to twist our leg, and then go come all the way up into a lunge, all the way up into a lunge. Back, original position, rotate the leg, feet up, and up into a lunge. Ish, I'm not sure if that's really a lunge, but rotate, feet up, and we stand all the way up. Together, and left, feet up, and all the way up. Awesome. The next thing we're going to do um, I don't remember the exact name, but I think it's a, a diving or something like that. <laughs> We're going to do one push-up, bring our butt up, and then just really dive our chest uh, forward and arc. Uh, I'm pregnant, so I'm not going to arc uh, really um, in the front because I don't want to stretch my belly. Um, but here we're going to do a push-up, butt up, and then we're going to dive with our head through and come all the way to the front. So we're going to do that five times. So push up, hips up, and dive through. That's two. Push up, butt up, and dive through. That's three. Push up, butt up, dive through. That's four. And one more. Push up, butt up, and dive through. That's five. Now we're gonna go into our hands and knee and we're gonna open our thoracic. So hands and knee, we're gonna bring one hand behind our head and we're gonna bring our elbow together and then twist to the sky. We're gonna do five each side. Two, three, you wanna do it, babe? Yeah, I wanna do it, yeah. Four and five. And now we're going to switch sides. So hand behind the head. We're bringing your elbow together. And we're rotating to the side. One, two, three, 
three, four, and five. Now the next thing we're going to do, we're gonna go in a push-up position and we're simply going to go in a T shape on each side, one side at a time. So we're gonna do 10 total of these. So in a push-up position, I'm gonna bring my right arm up, back in the push-up, left up, that's one. Up and left side up. Two, we're doing three more. And up, that's three. Right arm up and left arm up, that's four. And right arm up and left arm up, that's five. I'm doing it. Let's go back on our hands and knees. And we're gonna do five cat cows. So arc your back and round your back. Oh boy. Arc, down, arc, three, arc, round, arc, and round. Now we're going to stay here and we're going to do what we call bird dog. So here, I'm going to keep my left hand and my left leg down on the floor and I'm going to slowly raise my right hand and my left leg in front. The goal is to keep your trunk stable. So try to not twist at the hip. So we're going to do um, 10 each side. So we're going to go right arm, left leg up, come back, left leg, right arm up, come back. This is meant to be uh, done slow and controlled. Um, so here we go. Right arm, left leg, and come back down, left arm, right leg. Good, and switch. And switch, that's two, we're going to tap. Right, and left, three. Right, make sure to keep your hips square. And left, four, right, and left, five, halfway, right, and left, six, <laughs> right, <laughs> and left, seven, right, and left, eight, right, left, nine, and one more, right, and love and tan. Let's stay right here on our knees and we're gonna come and sit back on our heels and just lean back. And here, I'm just gonna swivel left to right and this should stretch your uh, quad. So if um, being more upright like they stretch your quad, just right there is perfect for you. All right, now we're gonna spread our knee just a little bit and we're gonna bring our arms forward into a child pose. And uh, again, what we're going to do, we're gonna go swivel from left to right to really come stretch our lats here and our shoulders. So hands forward, down, and we're just gonna go left to right slowly. You know, like that? Not, your dogs are loose. What's what? that? Your dogs are out. Oh, I'll get I'll get him, Kim. I'll get him. I'll get him. Thank Did you. you leave the door open? No. <laughs> is that our dog? What, what kind of dog is it? What's my dog? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's Thank you. Hey, I'm done. No. No. It's okay. Max. Max, come. Come on, good boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, our dog just escaped the house. <laughs> Sorry about that. We're back. Stay. Oh my god, how did they get out? Oh no, you left that door open? No, let me make sure that they uh, didn't bust out the back of the porch. 
Oh my God. All right, welcome in our life. We're back. Thank you very much. Okay. Oopie. All right, let's finish warming up just a bit. Let me try. This connection is driving me insane. I know, that's right. They're, they're tired of the quarantine for sure. Though they're getting so much more attention because we're here all the time and we're doing walk all the time. So they should be pretty stoked. All right, last thing we're going to do, just warm up our arms a little bit more. So just 20 scissor like this. Super basic, but this always make, make my arms feel so good. Especially because both of my shoulders are pretty banged up from 10 years of uh, CrossFit game. <laughs> I didn't count, so I'm going to assume that that's about 20. Now we're going to go same thing, but like this. And 20. My dogs are little stinky. Thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. All right, we're going to be ready uh, to get started with our workout. Um, so today the workout, what we're going to do, we're going to work for 50 seconds and then rest for 10. We're going to do four different movements um, that complement each other really well. And it should really help you um, just feel better in your body today. Um, so we're going to start with some Cossack squats, really open up that hips, get new muscle hopefully in, in your lower body, um, keep that chest upright, just really good for flexibility, balance, strength, um, just so many awesome things with that movement. Our second movement is going to be side raise. So I want you guys to get some light load for this. Uh, it could be like soup can if you don't have access to load or just uh, little chips that are like two and a half, five pound, uh, 10 pound is like if you're pretty strong, uh, should be good. Uh, sorry, and, and then our third movement, it's going to be uh, some jumping, uh, no, some weighted lunge. And then our fourth movement is going to be some uh, Arnold press. So Arnold press, we're going to go from hands in um, to overhead, just increase range of motion uh, by adding the rotation at the wrist. So, so let's go through our movement right now so you guys know what we're doing. So the Cossack squat, the way you're going to do them, is normally when we squat, we have our, our feet about um, shoulder width. So here we're gonna spread our feet about one feet apart more. And how we're going to do this is we're gonna bend only one leg and let all our weight shift on that leg. And here, um, that's where I think some pe it gets tricky for some people, is some people just only think about bending the legs. But you need to make sure that you're going to sit back. So as you sit back, I'm able to really bring my torso down to my leg. So make sure that you're not just letting the knee go forward, trying to keep your torso too upright. And here instead, I'm thinking about sitting back and letting my torso come forward just a tad. Um, I want you guys to go as low as you are comfortable. It should be pain-free. You might feel a little stretch in the other leg, and that's all good. So let's do uh, four right now at home. So one, and start slow in the range of motion, and then get deeper and deeper as you get one. Three, and four. Now, our next movement is going to be the side raises. So I'm going to go grab some chips for this. Not chips to eat, but wait. <laughs> And for the side raise, what we're going to do is we're going to try to keep our whole body static and we're simply going to bring the object about 90 and come back down. So we're going to bring to 90 and back down and think about up fast, slow down, up fast, slow down. This type of tempo is really going to help you induce a little bit more breakdown on the 
eccentric portion and really help build out the muscle. And the fast up help developing power in those same muscles. So we're really getting um, the best out of both worlds. Okay. Our next movement is going to be just some weighted lunge. So today, what I want us to do is I want us to do them in place, but step forward. So we're gonna bring our feet back, and then we're gonna always bring our legs back in the front. So the difference would be coming here and then stepping back. So today I'm gonna to step forward. The reason why is if I step forward, I'm going a little bit more in my hamstring and glute, and if I step back, I'm going a little bit more in my quad. So today we're gonna to go a little bit more on the pussier chain side. So for these, if you have a weight, uh, feel free to use that weight um, for today. It can be a one or two dumbbell. It can be a, a backpack with some book. That's what we've been using uh, for those who don't have access to uh, necessarily weight right now. And uh, let's do uh, six right now. Let's do six lunges here. We're going to go here and forward. So back. Forward, back, forward, four, five, and six. You want some music, Kim? Um, no, I can't on YouTube. Because I have a speaker. It's okay, I can't. And our last movement, we're going to do some uh, strict, uh, some Arnold press. So you can use your chip if you have light dumbbell. Um, definitely use that. Um, the way we're going to do these. Again, our whole body is going to be static. And I'm going to grab the weight with my palm facing me. And as I press, I'm going to turn with my palm facing out. So palm goes in and out and in and out. And again, in these, adding that rotation at the wrist is really going to help utilize a lot more of your shoulder muscle, which we really, really love because. We want those shoulder boulder. And also, again, on these, think about slow down and fast up. So we're going to do four rounds of 50 seconds of caustic squat into 10 second rest, 50 seconds of side raises, 10 second rest, 50 seconds of weighted lunges, 10 second rest, and 50 seconds of Arnold press, 10 second rest. And we're going to do that for four rounds. So we're going to be going for 16 minutes. So get ready. With your setup, and I'm going to grab some 20 pound dumbbell for the strict press and the lunges, um, and I'll keep the five pound for the side race. But whatever is challenging for you, and you can keep working for 50 seconds, um, that's definitely what I want you guys to go with. So we're going to start in about 50 seconds, and I'm getting hot in my hoodie. <laughs> You're gonna see my little baby bum that I always try to hide because I'm not confident that it looks yet enough like I'm pregnant. <laughs> I'm, I'm still in the in-between where I don't really look pregnant, but I do have more of a belly than I used to, so it's a little awkward. Well, all right, we're going to sign in 50 seconds. I'm going to get the timer uh, ready. Yep. All right. All right, we're going to start in 10 seconds. And three, three two, two, one. one and And today is really all about feeling good. So make sure we're really feeling the stretch, we're moving well, and we get that blood flowing. Okay. 
I feel like this is going to make me sore in new places. I can really feel that groin. And rest. So grab your small weight for the side raises. And again, Three, remember, two, one, one. and go. I like to hold at the top just a bit to really feel that little burn in my, mu in my muscle. <laughs> but that's where the magic happens. So fast up, little hold, slow down. Fast up, little hold, slow down. There we go. Ready at lunch. So here, I'm going to grab it 20 pounds. Three, two, and I'm going to hold it one. In front. So here, we're stepping forward. I'm already feeling my shoulder burning. <laughs> Perfect. Nice work, guys. Stay on it. And rest. Into our strict press. My shoulder already burning, so I'm going to go Three, hands. two, one. Coming back, coming back. So I'm going to grab 10 instead of my 20, and then I'll readjust as we go in this workout. Ooh, the shoulder burn is real. Here we go. Almost there. We're going to go for three more rounds. So three, one, two, one. And so remember, really think about going and sitting back and down into that leg. Back and down. And keep really your weight on that foot that you're bending. So all the weight should go from one foot to the other one in these. And if you can do these with weight, feel free to use a weight too. Really good to build all those little muscles. And it's work at home, just keep moving. Raise it. Fast up, slow down. Three, two, one. And fast up, slow down. So I'm turning my thumbs to the sky on this one, just so I get another part of my shoulder. So the other one I did my palm facing down. So now I'm going with my palm facing forward. Working out in silence, alone with my thought, my crazy thought. <laughs> All right, make sure you keep holding, feel the burn, 
move all the way. That's where the magic happens when it gets really hard. And uh, we are waited in line, so grab that weight and get ready. Three, two, one. Nice work. Thank you. Let's keep moving. <laughs> I'm doing great. You're doing great, Dave. Well, I like that lunch. Nice work, guys. There we go. Keep moving. Keep moving. Three, two, <laughs> one. If you know, it feels a little too loud, just increase the tempo. So go with like two seconds up, two seconds down. The more time under tension, the more burn. I'm just closing my eyes and enjoying the burn. <laughs> and rest. We're halfway through. Halfway through. Next up, back on the Cossack squad. Three, Here we go. two, one. And rest. And if not, we're really going for technique and quality here. My shoulder burning. <laughs> we're doing those. I love it though. Not gonna lie. Three, two, one. It's getting hot here. Really try to keep your arms at your side here. So don't let them come forward. Really try to keep them at your side. Keep going. Really embrace that burn. Keep moving. Moving all the way. That's the goal here. your way for your lunch because we're going pretty much right away. Three, two, one. Really drive through your heel when you're standing up. That front foot should be on your heel.
Let's get ready. Oh, my shoulder is burning. Three, two, one. Just keep pushing. Just embrace the burn. Oh. Just closing my eyes. <laughs> Everything. So, three, two, one. So, again, weight shift to my foot, keep my weight on that heel. Make sure your butt goes back and down. Butt goes back and down and back and front. Back down and front. And rest. Last set of side raise. Make it burn. Three, two, one. Here we go. Last up, side raise. Fast up, slow down. Get that little second squeeze at the top. Burn. It's awesome. Okay, keep moving. There we go. Thank God. All right, get ready for our last sets of lunge. Three, two, two one. one. Keep moving. Okay. Last set of press, and then our little finish. Three, two, so one. Just feel the burn and enjoy it. Here we go. Almost there. Exercise completed. Yay! Woo! That was fun. Okay, 
is spicy. <laughs> All right, good job. Let's take about uh, one minute in, and uh, we're gonna do our little finisher, and then uh, we'll get you going in your day. So our finisher, what we're going to do today, we're going to do 10 push up into 10 shoulder tap in a plank, nine, nine, eight, eight, seven, seven, six, six, five, 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 until one. Um, choose the variation that allows you to keep moving. So if you think you can do it on your hands and, and feet, go ahead and do that. Um, maybe scale down on your knee or the last scale down that we're gonna do is uh, just grab maybe something where you can do it at 45 degree. You could do it on a wall or on a bench like this. Just make sure um, whatever you use or your couch is not gonna move as you do it. So 10 push up. Woo. 10 push up, 10 shoulder tap, nine, eight, down until one. I'm gonna do those on my knee. Um, because there's a baby in my belly, and uh, plank are not the best for your for your abs when you're pregnant. The, it is the best for your abs when you're not pregnant. So we're gonna go. Um, I'll go on my knee. Please, if you can, you guys go on your feet. I am just not allowed to. I wish I was allowed, but not allowed to. Um, well, I guess I do what I want, but. Little, little baby bump. I wonder if you can see it. It's coming. Little baby bump come first. All right, let's get started. 10, 10, 9, 9, down to 1, and then you will be on your way for the day. Here we go. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And shoulder tap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and two, nine push up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine shoulder tap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, I'm gonna grab my hoodie and put it under my knee because I can already feel the bruise coming out. <laughs> I was uh, faking to be a badass, like uh, it wouldn't bother me, but uh, it bothered me. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight shoulders up. One, two. Four, six, seven, eight, seven push up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is getting spicy. Oh, this is getting all the way down to one? Three, yeah, four, five, six, seven, six. Six push up. One, two, three, four, five, oh, six. One, Uh, 
go check out for more workout like this, uh, just ferocefitness.com. The goal is to really uh, give you guys workouts that are easy to do at home with minimal equipment or as much equipment as you have. Uh, and you can, you know, modify things like adding bike instead of running sometimes or doing the same thing with the barbell. Um, yeah, have a good day. Okay, bye. Okay, okay, bye. Have a good day, guys. Thanks for being here. Good. Hey, I was running and I had an idea. Okay. You should do these live workouts with Wilson Ford. Well, if she